In this video, we're going to go through the phase two of the abdomen of how we know the different phases when the contract is going through the body. Um, we're going to specifically look at the, this image here today. And I just want to go through the nine contrast phase, arterial, total venous phase, and delayed phase. And as a prep, it's important to know how your phases look like so that you know you're pretty much achieving the right contracts for the radiologist and that this is a diagnostic study because if you go through and inject the contract during the non, I mean, not the non contract, let's say, yeah, you accidentally inject the contract not knowing that the contract went through and you do a non contract and you see contract in this um, region right here or anywhere, then that means you forgot to do the non contract or you injected um, accidentally because some places um, there's no power injector sinkage with the CT scanner so um, it's manual and some people are like yeah just take it before it happens so that's that's a scenario sometimes you just forgot to do the non contract or whatnot but it's good to know how it looks like so you see how this is kind of like the same kind of grayish opposed to these other ones you know contrast is white in a CT scan and then you know the aorta is right here the circle next to the lumbar this is also white but know that this is bone bone pound per unit is white so this is the lumbar spine. This is posterior, this is anterior, right and left. So here we know that there's no contrast. And this specific image is we see from the radiology cases. And it's pretty much explaining the different liver phases. This is a liver scan. So um, they're seeing the hemangioma. And a hemangioma is a tumor in the liver but specifically it's a benign tumor so it doesn't spread it's just located right there that's the lesion that it has and um, this is what you normally see it looks really bad but sometimes like they don't do anything to it because it's benign so some people don't even feel like they have it and you can prevent it from me um, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a radiologist, so these are the things that I'm just seeing as a tech. You should be familiarizing yourself with things that's normal and that's not normal. It makes you a better tech to know like what's going on. We're not here to diagnose anything, we're just here to obtain a really good image for the radiologist um, to actually be the person to read it. Uh, okay. So a non-contrast would look nicely like grayed out like that. And um, so they call it non-contrast or pre-contrast. So moving on to the arterial phase. Um, so let's see, this is the arterial phase. We're gonna focus on this one right now. Um, so the arterial phase, it's gonna be around 35 to, or well, this is the three sides. That's funny, huh? Okay, so it's about 35 to 45, sorry, 35 to 40 seconds. Um, so that's what we call it here, 35 to 45 seconds for the arterial phase. And you know that this is the arterial phase because again, the aorta is nice and bright, right here, the aorta. This is the splenic vein or artery. So the spleen is right here. And you see the difference between this, oh, let's see. So this spleen over here, opposed to this spleen. Oh, I think I'm not right. I'm learning this, okay guys? 
So the screen here and the screen here. You see here how it's more modeled. I think they call it the it's like a wool like looking screen. So if you see someone's in a trauma accident or something and the rib pokes through the screen and there's a splenic rupture in the venous phase over here where it's 60 to 70 seconds that is actually how a injured spleen would look like but since we know that this is an arterial phase this is normal if you see this here in a venous phase it is not normal there is an injury um, so sometimes if you're in a trauma case, it's best like if you actually see that and they didn't have a fast ultrasound scan in the trauma bay and they come straight to CT, um, it's best to inform a radi uh, not a radiologist, but like a trauma doctor or someone around and just be like, hey, do you think that this might be something that they want to come take a look at? And I don't say anything specific. I'm just like, hey, something is concerning. You might want to come take a look at this. And then they see it at the venous phase. But if it's at the arterial phase, normal. Venous phase, that's not normal. And arterial phase here, you can see that. And you see this lesion right here. It's barely absorbing the contact. And you see the difference. This, this, I mean, sorry, this liver is still kind of dark, and you just see the hepatic veins kind of, kind of lighting up. Here, it's more um, spread out. So the liver is already absorbing the contrast because remember, it's 60 to 70 seconds. So some other things to notice here: um, the lesion is barely absorbing, not all of it. Uh, it's barely lighting up the contrast in the liver and then this will be kind of like not fully um, one uniform color it's barely kind of filling in so it's not consistent it's kind of like when you pour cream into a coffee it kind of just thinking about it and then this is when you pour the cream into the coffee already and um, you have light coffee there kind of how we see it. Oh, that's not what I want to do. So, now let's move on to the quarter venous phase. So we went through some things here. Um, you see the difference between this one and this one. It's slowly absorbing. The lesions are barely like kind of like sucking that contrast in. And as during the injection time, it's going to be 60 to 70 seconds and now you see this um, spleen moving out um, the aorta is not as bright as the arterial phase because it's kind of getting washed off right and then the delayed phase for liver normally liver they want a delayed phase to take a really good look at that um, to see how that is going to absorb the contrast and you see how now the contrast is absorbed after um, a target of five minutes. You normally want it for a five minute scan on the liver. And then now the spleen is um, washed out. So everything is kind of washed out in the liver. I mean, sorry, in the, yeah, the liver, the spleen, and all that stuff. If you actually move down a little bit to the kidneys, you'll see the kidneys, it'll, the contrast will be in the renal pelvic and going down to the bladder area too, the ureter and all that stuff. Um, but specifically on this view where it cuts through the liver and the spleen and the aorta, you'll see this. This is actually the stomach. So that's where the stomach lies. And you see your water, fluid here, or water fluid. Um, so yeah, and this is where the diaphragm moves out. It's air. Crushes the water and goes through there. And so these are just some of the things that you should consider knowing, getting familiar with, um, and just getting used to all these things because you should know the difference between these phases. Strong contrast, arterial, quarter venous, the timing, and all that stuff. And the contrast injection, anytime you have it on an arterial phase, you're going to go fast. So you want to at least a 20 gauge IV 
and the contrast bolus is going to be about 3 cc to 5 cc um, contrast injection because you see how bright this is you want to really push the contrast in to get a nice arterial and that way they can um, see the difference of how they build and if it's just a liver scan you just want to get on top of the diaphragm to the iliac cuff and if they want to see the pelvis as well then at the total venous phase is when they'll go from top of the diaphragm to below the pelvis. That's the only time you should get the full abdomen pelvis is during this phase, the 60 to 70 seconds. Um, not normally the non-contrast, not the arterial in that way because you won't obtain that much information from this phase. So hopefully this video helps and um, you get a better understanding of how the different contrast is absorbed during very prone phases um, through the abdomen. Alright, thanks for watching and if you want to follow my Instagram, it's the Traveling PT Tech. Alright, toodles and um, if anyone has any, any additional things to add to this or any tricks and stuff that you guys use or have any other questions, please leave it in the comments and um, I will try to get back to you and if not, uh, someone hopefully will help out if they read it. Uh, thanks for the questions. I do see them. It's just very hard to get through some of them and very hard to explain some of them, especially without a machine in front of me.